What's up, riders? Today we're gonna do wrists and arms. Um, you can find a link below that will take you to a professional who spends a lot more time talking about what we're about to talk about with our wrists. Um, but I'm gonna give you kind of a quick rundown of what it is we're gonna do. So we're gonna do some wrist stretches. Um, gamers are notorious for having bad wrists because we hold them in a similar posture all the time. Um, but we need to work them and stretch them. So we're gonna talk about some stuff. So we're gonna be really careful with all the stretches we're doing today because um, they can all have some problems. So we're gonna want a blanket or a towel or something soft to put our wrists on. And the first one we're gonna do is we're going to put the back of our wrists down like this. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of lean forward. Now this is gonna differ for everybody, okay? So for me, I'm gonna kind of rock into it and rock back. I'm gonna keep my elbow straight and rock in and rock back. Rock in and rock back. Now what I'm doing is I'm keeping the back of my hands flat. This part of my hand is gonna stay flat on my soft cushion. I'm gonna rock into it and it's gonna hurt a little bit. The pain's gonna be right back here and what we're doing is we're kind of stretching out our extenders. Be very gentle and very careful. Only go as far as you can for this, especially if this is brand new to you. This can lead to injury if you're not careful. Take this seriously and be mindful. It's very, very important you do this for your wrists, but it can also be dangerous. So we're gonna do that a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that one your own way. If you can do reps and rock, if just putting your hands down flat hurts, just hold them there for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Then go ahead and shake them out. Maybe pull them back. And then do another 10 to 15 seconds. If you can do reps, try to focus on getting eight to 10 really solid reps out of it. When we're done with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands flat. We're gonna externally rotate our shoulders so that our hands, our elbows are facing forward so that the gap in them is facing forward. We're gonna rock forward. We're doing almost the same exact thing as before. Now for this one, you're gonna rock forward as far as you can go. It should start hurting your wrists a little bit and then pull back. You don't wanna pause at the end for just a second. So there's my extension. I can go just a little bit further and come back. And it hurts, it, it feels a little tight. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just pausing at the end, going for about 10 really good reps. And I'm really paying attention to the way it makes my wrists feel. All right, after we get 10 of those, we're gonna go ahead and put our knuckles down. Okay, and this is really important. How soft or how big the thing is that you're using is up to you. Some people will need softer stuff. Um, I can technically just do all of this stuff on the ground um, without a, a thing, but you should definitely start with something soft um, as it will help you at first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our knuckles down and we're gonna kind of do the same thing here. And we're rotating into the pockets of our hands. Again, we're trying to rotate as far through the wrist as we can. For me, this one is particularly easy. Um, that comes from guitar and a few other things. Um, it might be easy for you, but we wanna go deep into it. And again, about 10 times. Keeping our shoulders rotated externally and pushing through that. So about 10 of those, you should feel that all up your arm. These ones you should feel in your wrist. And then these ones you'll know right away, I promise. So those are the wrist stretches that we're gonna do to start. And then we're gonna work some triceps. So if you wanna keep your pad, you can. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets of the following exercises when we're done with our wrist exercises. The first one we're gonna do are diamond tricep push-ups, but we're gonna stay on our knees for these, okay? So what we're gonna do is make those, those nice triceps. We're gonna externally rotate our shoulders and we're going to go down, focusing on just our triceps. And what I want you to do is I want you to do as many as you can. We're gonna find out our max first, right? So let's say you, you're doing this and you go and you get 20. 
So your max is 20. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets. After you get your max of it, you're gonna do three sets at 80%. So if I do 20, my, my rep is gonna be 16. So I'm gonna do 16 per set, and then I'm gonna march down by 25%. So my first set will be 16, my second set will be 12, and my third set will be nine. That's how we're gonna do this. Um, do the best of your ability. You can round either way, I don't really care. Um, but so we do that. So I go 16, 12, nine. Um, the second exercise we're gonna be doing is a tricep roll. So we're gonna take this kind of position here. We're gonna scoot up. We're gonna roll into our hands and roll back. We're keeping our hands tight, close to the body, putting the pressure on our triceps. This is one, two, three. Those are much harder than they look. Again, I want you to find out your maximum that you can do and then you do 80% of that and then cut it by 25%. So if you can do 20, 25 of those, um, however you see fit. And then, um, you're gonna need something you can sit on or put something on. Uh, don't use a rolling chair, but if you have like a chair or a table, you can use anything and we're gonna do uh, rear dips. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna put my hands down on this like this. And then I'm gonna lower myself Pick myself up. Now, I'm taking all the weight away from everything else on my body. I'm only using my triceps. Just like that. And these are gonna give you, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same exact thing with that one as we do with the other ones. Find out your max, do 80% and then 25% less each time. Um, these workouts are going to give you a really good tricep workout by the end of them. Your triceps should be burning and your wrists are probably going to hurt. We're going to start working towards some new exercises in the weeks to come. But before we get there, we need to strengthen those wrists. Okay. Yesterday we worked on our hips. Today we're working on our wrists. We're going to continue to strengthen these joints and these things that are weak for most gamers so that you can have a better opportunity to expand your fitness in healthy manners using calisthenic at-home workouts. So that's all I've got for you today. Um, we'll put the workout exactly um, in the description along with the, the link to the guy who talks about strengthening your wrists if you want to listen from a uh, more um, expert uh, person. Um, that's all I got for you guys today.